Hi guys, I'm Lucy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be sharing with you guys what helped me take my skin from this to this while I do my nighttime skincare routine because my skin is really dry. So let's get on with it. So I already cleansed my face with this cleanser from Kine. This is from their Travel Kit collection. It's called the Rosemary Relief Gel Cleanser. Aside from the fact that this cleanser is gentle and non-stripping, I my favorite thing about it is the fact that it contains 0.4 salicylic acid. And even though my skin is dry due to the weather, I still have acne prone skin. So salicylic acid just does it for me to keep my pores clear and everything to avoid breakout. Which brings me to the first tip that's helped my skin so far. I have to make a lot of changes to my skincare routine. So instead of using 2% salicylic acid a few times a week in my skincare routine, I opted for a lower percentage, which is like 0 0.4, 0 0.5 to use every day. And let me tell you, that made a lot of sense. Like it really, really helped my skin. I knew that if I used the 2% every day, my skin barrier was going to be damaged. My skin was going to be irritated. That's why I opted for a lower percentage that I can use every day. That's why it's very, very, very important. I cannot stress this enough. It's very, very important for you to know what your skin needs at a particular time so that you can use it. If not, if you follow people or you just go about doing what you want to do, you may end up damaging your skin barrier. You may not even know what you're doing. So. You need to know what your skin needs at a particular time and if you cannot figure it out just ask a professional go for a consultation i am using this toner from mix on to help hydrate my skin and bring back moisture to my skin because as you can see my skin is really dry right now this contains hard leaf which is known for its calming and hydrating properties so the next thing that has helped my skin so far is getting my beauty sleep you guys i cannot stress this enough get your beauty sleep i figured out that stress causes me to break out like stress causes me to break out so i became more intentional about my sleep schedule i be became more intentional about resting so after doing that i realized that my skin started getting better like my skin started improving Next is this serum from Kles. It's this Kles Soothing Serum. I love, okay, the Kles Rich Moist Soothing Serum. I've been loving this. As you can see, I'm almost, see, I've used like half of this. It's so good. Anyways, the third tip that has helped me so far is changing my bed sheets and pillowcases weekly. Let me tell you, this thing is so underrated. Like a lot of people just bypass this thing, but it is true change your bed sheets and pillowcases weekly and i promise you you are going to see results sometimes you're breaking out you don't know what's causing it that's what is causing it i notice that whenever i don't change my bed sheets and pillowcases like i'm supposed to i start breaking out around my jaw area or like just around this area around this area when i notice that i start i started changing it weekly and let me tell you I saw a difference like I saw a difference so lastly I'll be using this moisturizer from mix soon this is a very good moisturizer especially for the dry season I use this on nights where my skin is exceptionally dry and this night it is really dry so see how thick it is I really like the texture of this cream anyways lastly the tip the last tip that has helped me so far is knowing the acne treatment that works for me I remember when the Azelic acid treatment was trending on social media. I bought it. I followed the multitude. I bought it. It's a very good treatment. Don't get me wrong. Like I really enjoyed it in my skincare routine. It helps with acne and hyperpigmentation. But I just realized that over time it was just not for me anymore. Like I realized it was not working for me the way I thought it was. So I just stopped and I went back to my benzoyl peroxide treatments. Let me tell you, that never fails me. It never fails. I stuck to it. And you can see, look at my skin. It is better. So always stick to your acne treatment. Do your research. Seek a professional. Because if you follow the multitude and get this, get that, get that, get that, you just waste money and waste your time. So you need to figure out what works for you and stick to it. Also, another thing that's helped me is hydrating my skin, keeping my skin barrier intact. Because if your skin barrier is impaired, if your skin barrier is damaged, you're going to break out obviously so make sure it's intact make sure you hydrate your skin by like soothing products soothing toners or soothing serums to keep your skin barrier intact when it comes to acne there are a lot of factors that contribute to it so you need to know what triggers your acne what to use what not to use what products to use what products not to use 
so seek professional help especially if it's very severe seek professional help anyways i'm done with my routine now it's time for bed thank you guys for tuning in thank you for watching this video to this point please like share subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video okay bye